Have you ever wanted a professional email address using your own domain without really paying anything? If the answer is yes, you're in the right place. Because in this video, I will show you one totally free and one almost free method to create a custom email address on your own domain. So you might be asking, why is having your own email domain so important? Well, it's simple. Custom domain not only looks professional, but it also helps you establish your brand identity and build trust with your contact. It will make you look cooler, more professional, more serious, and more trustworthy. Okay, enough intro, let's get started. Okay, we need to deal with two things, receiving emails and sending emails. For the receiving part, we are totally fine because there are tons of providers that gives you this functionality for free. We can go to Improve MX website under Guides. You can see a list of providers that gives you free email forwarding like Verso, Cloudflare, Amazon, GoDaddy, Netlify, and so on. Based on your preferences, feel free to pick one. So I will start with Cloudflare because I've already registered my domain with Cloudflare and it's going to be very easy. So go to your Cloudflare panel, choose the domain that you want. In this case, I will choose this domain and click on email. Click on get started. And here you can create your first email address. So I'll go with contact. For action, we only have sent to an email now, but later after we set it up, we can actually send it to a worker or just drop the email. And for destination, I'll pick a Gmail address. After typing your email address, create and continue. Now I need to verify that this email address belongs to me. So go to your Gmail, click on that and verify the email address. You can close that and get back to your Cloudflare panel. Now that it's verified, click on continue. And this is step, Cloudflare wants to add these DNS records. Go ahead and choose add record and enable. Okay, after a few seconds, the routing status changed to enabled. Now, if I go to routing rules, I can see that this email address will be forwarded to this destination. So let's actually test that. Now I will open my Proton mail, create a new message, and I will send an email from contact at sn.net to contact at sn.dev. Now, if I hit send, okay, after a few seconds, I received this email. If I click here, you can see that the email was sent to contact at sn.dev, which is the right one. Now let's go back to Cloudflare panel. You can see that now we have one total received message. Now let's go back to routing rules and create a no reply one. Create address and action will be dropped. Let's save it. Last thing that I suggest you do it is enable catch all. So click on edit and instead of drop, send to an email, choose your destination and click save and make sure that you enable it. Now with this simple setup, anything at sn.dev will land into your inbox. So let's try that one more time. Okay, this email should be dropped. I'll send it. This time, I will choose another email address, which we want to catch it with catch all. Okay, business at sn.dev, this should hopefully work. I'll send it. And again, after a few seconds, we should have a new message in our inbox. Okay, we have a new email and you can see business at sn.dev and that worked perfectly fine. Now back to Cloudflare. If I go to overview, you can see I have one dropped email. Okay, so far we managed to receive emails, but I also want to send emails. So let's do that now. Now go to improve MX website and choose send emails using Gmail. Okay, as you can see, first you need to have your two factor authentication for your Google account enabled. So let's check that. Click here, manage your account, go to security. As you can see, two-step verification is enabled. Now after that, we should find app 
passwords, which I can't find it in the UI. So we'll just search app passwords. Now choose an app name. Okay, keep this window open because we need this password. Now go to your inbox, click on settings, show all settings. Under accounts and import, add another email address. Now specify an email address with your own domain. So I'll go with contact at sn.dev. Next step. Now for SMTP server, we need smtp.gmail.com and password will be the app password that we just created. Paste that and click on add account. Okay, and we're done. Click on close window, go to Gmail, and we need to confirm this new email address. Okay, now click on this one, click on confirm, and we are done. Close this window. Now, after a couple of refreshes, when I click on compose, you can see I have this new field here from. I can choose this one and reply to emails with this email address. So let's use this email because it was addressed to contact at sn.dev and click on reply. Let's reply to the email and hit send. Okay, I made a mistake and replied to this email with my Gmail. So let's try that one more time. Okay, click on reply. Same message, if I click here, okay, I should choose this from to the other one. And if I hit send now, let's open it. And this time, this is from contact at sn.dev, which is the right email address. So with just two simple steps, we managed to enable sending and receiving emails quite easily. Now we can receive emails with Cloudflare and send email with Google's SMTP server. But I won't let you go without this next bonus chapter. I'm pretty sure that most of you guys are a paying customer of iCloud. So even if you are subscribed to the cheapest iCloud plan, you are eligible to use your custom domain for your email address. So go to your iCloud, then choose mail and click setting. Now, if you scroll down to the very end, you will see this. Click on the link, choose custom email domain, use a domain you own. Here I will choose the first one because I only want to use it myself. But if you want to share that domain name with your family, feel free to choose the second one. Then enter the domain, click on continue. I will go with no email addresses. Now click on continue. Your Cloudflare panel will pop up. Now Apple wants to create a few DNS records on your domain, but I need to disable email routing on this domain. So click on that under setting, under domain, click here and choose disable. You can choose either one, but I will say delete and disable. Now back to this page, if I refresh the page, I can authorize this action. Now close it, go to iCloud panel and you can see everything is set up. Okay, after a few seconds before even closing the window, it was enabled. So click on turn on allow all. Now you can provide email address. So, so we'll create a new one like contact at sn.dev and that should be it. Click on add. And now if I go to my iCloud email and click on compose under this section from, I can choose this new email address. So I'll go with business and send an email to my other email address and send. Now back to my inbox. Okay, after a few seconds, 
I receive this email, I can reply to it. And as you can see, the email address and the name is correct. Back to my iCloud mail. And you can see the message details on sender. So remember, we don't have to pay anything extra. This comes with our own iCloud subscription. I pay 99 cents a month for 50 gigabytes of storage. So I can say that's a very good deal. And there you have it. We just covered two different methods on how you can create your custom email address on your own domain. If you enjoyed this tutorial, make sure to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. For your next video, I will suggest checking out this one because in that video, I'll show you how you can connect to your home server remotely with three different methods. Thanks for watching. Until next time.